Good morning and welcome to You Have Beauty Care Choices. I am Jennifer Coy, the CEO of Beauty Care Choices, and we have created You Have Beauty Care Choices for our clients that want to know a little bit more about the brands that they use, the products they put on their bodies, and people are really interested in knowing who's creating a brand and how they give back to the world and what ingredients are actually in it and what other products or what other um, side ingredients and benefits do the products have. So today's show is going to be super exciting. Please let us know when you are joining in. Click the bell and tell us where you're joining us from. Ask lots of questions today because we have a, an amazing guest. Um, the cre creator of Surface Hair, Wayne Grund, is joining us. Um, he is the founder. He and his family created the products back in 2008. And he is a Canadian Hairdresser Award winner. He is also um, a Naha winner, which is the North American Hairdressing Awards. He um, is an owner of a salon, and his salon has won many prestigious awards. He's traveled um, three million miles, sharing his collections in over five continents. So we are lucky to be getting him, as he's probably a little grounded in his uh, location due to all the travel restrictions happening right now. So we feel so fortunate to be welcoming Wayne Gren to the show. Wayne, welcome to the show. Great to be here, Jennifer. It's a pleasure to be able to join you today and all of your Beauty Care Choices team. Thank you. Tell us a little bit more about your experience in the hair industry. Well, um, in a, how long do you have? <laughs> <laughs> we have all um, the time in the world for you. You are our most requested guest and your knowledge. Every time I speak to you, I learn something. So I just want to sit back and drink my coffee and listen to you talk. <laughs> well, I'm excited for the opportunity. And I believe my, my personal, my family story does really share the valid passion and the quality of the product that, that we bring to salons, we bring to their guests, the consumers that are out there. Um, I began when I was 13 years old, my dad's barber shop, my first haircut was $1.75. Um, my grandfather was a barber, two uncles were barbers, three aunts were hairdressers. Um, jump it forwards, I was very fortunate to work in a very education-driven salon when I got my barbering license at 17, cosmetology license at 18. Um, I won the Canadian Men's Cutting Championship at 19, the Women's Cutting Championship at 20, and represented Canada at the Hair Olympics when I was 25. Wow. Um, Go get her. Yeah, it was, um, I've, I've loved the people connection with our industry. Uh, if you spin the clock forward, I became the artistic director for a major manufacturer for 12 years, um, as well as having our salon in Canada. Um, my daughter followed my footsteps, making it fourth uh, generation well, with it. Cool. Surface came to the world at a point um, when I was about to semi-retire. I was at 50 and my wife and I were taking a look at, you know, what's next. And I started studying personal health. And I became shocked at the toxins that are in the majority of all skin care, hair care products, cosmetics. Um, it, it was phenomenal. Um, and, you know, I went to my wife and at that point of our life, we basically put a mortgage onto our already paid for home. Um, our lake house, our kids and I, we invested everything we could in research and development because there was organic product out there, but the challenge was they didn't have the performance level that a hairdresser was used to at the top and ultimately our guests in the salon. So, you know, we put everything into uh, quite simply believing that nature provides the best in hair care, skin care ingredients, as well as hair color. Yep. And those ingredients then are ones that would completely respect the personal health and the earth. Um, at the same time, providing the education for surface salons worldwide to be able to connect with their guests, identify what their needs were. And ultimately, as we shared earlier, my goal 10 years ago was to be able to have the solution for every single person as to what their hair type was, whether it's curly, whether it's thinning, um, whether it's color care, whether it's moisture, in a small type package, what is your preferred and best shampoo, conditioner, styling product to respect your hair? So I got a little bit long-winded there, but from the days of my dad's barbershop now to uh, being in five continents worldwide 
and really being the choice. And a good friend of mine summed it up. His name is Irving Russo. He says, quite simply, the right product at the right time with the right education and the right support. So true. It was a, it was 2008 um, when you and your family started Surface. Um, it was a hard time, actually, in the economy and everything else, but it was such a needed product at that time. I want to say hi to a bunch of people joining us. I'm so glad you're all joining us. Hi, Dave. Hi, Joe. Hi, Karen. Celine. Mache. Good morning. Uh, Allison, so excited. Uh, Elizabeth, so glad to have you all here. A lot of my salon staff is on. They're also going to be listening to you because we're very interested in Surface in our salon and like to keep everybody um, as educated as possible at Beauty Care Choices. So you know all of our people answering the phones are licensed also. So they're tuning in. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, so that's your amazing career in, or summary of the career. Four generations, five generations, you said, the family. Yep. Yeah, we're on our fourth generation right now. And the, that's our picture of a board of directors. Thank you for popping Love in. Love it. Son, the dog the is the CEO, CEO, right? That's right. I tell you, that that's the cruelty-free buddy. What are the puppies' and, names? Uh, we have Bella on your screen right, and we have Peter on the left. And hey, don't forget that black spot at the middle on the bottom. Okay, that's I'm Lucy. seeing him. What and if you look name? at the small one, that's Lucy. Lucy. And we have Oliver that is uh, on the left in Becca, who's our educational director, in her arms. So there's actually four of them on there. So the Surface Board of Directors, four-legged Board of Directors here, awesome. <laughs> That's great. So um, starting Surface, Surface was clean before clean was cool. What motivates you to, what motivated you? I know for me, I became interested in the toxin-free um, out of a must uh, due to my own health. So right around the time you created Surface, so interesting leads to our connection and why I became so connected and somewhat fangirl of you um, is because I was experiencing a lot of health issues um, related to the toxins in our products. So there was a year right around 2008 that I couldn't even come into the salon because the toxins and the smells were affecting me with what I was going through in my life. So what kind of gave you your passion? Well, when I started studying personal health and, and I invested in just meeting with some organic chemists, and one of the questions that were asked this is, you know, Wayne, do you realize that you've inhaled all the products that have ever evaporated in front of you? How many blow dries have you ever done? And how many hairdressers do you know with respiratory issues? And it was absolutely shocking. Yeah. And then to uh, identify the preservative systems, specifically the paraben-based preservative systems, and identifying that 86% of breast cancer patients have preservatives found in their breast tissue. So, you know, those were a couple of trigger points. And then when my daughter entered the industry as another generation, yeah, hey, I was the old guy, I was on the way out, but I wasn't gonna leave something behind me yes. for my yeah. daughter to use. And we had actually had our first grandchild, Jillian, at that, right at that same time too. And, you know, what if she's fifth generation? Wow. So quite simply, you know, we made a commitment to that if our family was going to use these products on themselves and in the salon, that they would respect their personal health and the earth. And there's not one morning I don't wake up and pinch myself because I think I'm dreaming as the success that we've had. Um, there's over 8,000 salons worldwide now that are registered um, as a surface salon. Um, you know, our, our commitment to them and with them just continues to grow. So it's a it's, testament uh, to you, sir, because you do travel 3 million miles. Um, I don't know another brand owner, creator that has more passion for his brand that really walks the walk. I mean, you get out in the salons, on the front lines, training people firsthand. Every hair show I attend, I walk around and I'm so surprised to not see the director of education only, but also the creator yourself on stage giving of your knowledge. You're so generous and you can tell by the passion in which you created your brand was for your family. So the longevity of them promoting this brand and carrying on your name, you wanted the best technology out there for them to be able to carry forward. And I find that beautiful because we are seeing that, unfortunately, the paraben systems and the sulfates and certain other chemicals do affect women and especially their hormonal systems. So what's your daughter's name? Jackie. Jackie, I knew that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, this is something that you really helped Jackie move forward in being able to help. Then what's your granddaughter's name? Jillian. 
Uh, so that's a, it's a pay it forward kind of thing. We're educating the women below us, and that's what I teach my daughter too. We're definitely among the, the parent generation that has taught our kids to read ingredients, and we should be proud of that. So, Absolutely. And you know, Jackie, at this point, 10 years in now, has really taken over innovation. She's still a stylist behind her chair. Yeah. You know, manages our salon, but every single product that anybody uses, all those behind you, were developed with her and me, and now she has the lead in innovation. So it's not chemists in a lab somewhere working with the board of directors as in many companies. Yes. They're really salon-driven products. Any question I get, I can actually get right to the source, to the chemist, to you and your, uh, your family and your board of directors to find the answers, and I love that. So speaking about the Surface family of products, let's dive right into um, the different sub-brands of Surface. Um, why don't we talk about just kind of the eight foundations of Surface and understanding kind of hair damage and the science behind it before we jump into Basu, our first line. Excellent. Well, you know, the very first thing is to understand hair is predominantly protein. It's over 80% protein. So what damage happens is when those protein chains get broken apart. Um, up until when Surface really came to the world is and still most manufacturers use wheat, which is a gluten base. 86% of the people in the world have gluten intolerance levels. Doesn't mean you're celiac, but it's very hard on your system and it's mm -hmm. fatigue orientated. Any hairdresser that may be listening know what I'm talking about. My daughter. By the end of, yeah, yeah, by the end of the day, Saturday, I mean, you want nothing to do with people. You want to go home and go to sleep. So what we did, and I'll you know, pick up one, uh, two products in our hand, it'll be our lead products, is when it comes to the formulation, the first product that you see in my hand here is Basu Oil. And it's predominantly a certified organic Babasu oil that works as our delivery system. And in the delivery system, what it does is it helps carry the other ingredients in as well as its own antioxidants. Now, is the other little vial that I'm going to pull up here, and I didn't give you a heads up on this one to have, but this is part of our trinity. This okay. is the amber okay. protein. This is what we eliminated any wheat protein with. So if you take a look at the back of any of our ingredients, there's no wheat derivatives whatsoever. So amaranth is also known as the never fading flower. So in every single product that we have, we have different concentrations of these two. Of the Babasu, Babasu oil and the amaranth. Correct. So you've got Babasu oil and you've got amaranth protein in a combination. You also have a ceramide NP. And the ceramide NP is a fruit lipid. It's a fruit fat. And we derive it only through biofermentation. So there is no solvents that we ever use or petrochems to break down that organic base. So the three things are the moisture antioxidants and delivery system, the amaranth protein that then provides for us the strength, the rebuilding, and it begins, I'm gonna get a bit geeky on you, get ready here. So the geek part of it, my daughter warns me all the time going, dad, they just wanna know it works, you don't get too no, geeky No, we on. want it geeky, dude, we want it geeky. But the, we want the, the nitty gritty of how this nitty works. Gritty, you got yes. it. Is when we're working with amaranth protein, we take it into three sizes or atomic weights. One is your 200, one is 750, and one is 2000. So it can work at the most inner areas of hair and on the outside. And it begins cationic, means positive charge. Any damaged area of hair always has a negative charge, so we can attach to it. Now, during that process, We've identified that we can take other benefits into the hair as well, whether it's curly or in our hair color, for example, all the different things that we can do to take that inside and bond it. We've then taken it and being able to make it from cationic to covalent. And covalent is a permanent bond with it. So when we were working with our one shot over 10 years ago, this was the first bleach additive. This was the first color additive. This was the pure raw additive that people would put on their ends of their hair to actually rebuild. Bonding. Uh, bonding to, re to rebuild that base. So when we take a look at those factors, they're incorporated within all the sub-brands that we'll look at today. And it, yeah, our viewers out there, you know, from a, a curly girl to a blonde girl to a thinning scalp problem, will identify today what family of products is best used, but those ingredients will be key to it. Making sure you know that they're gluten-free, they're paraben-free, they're phthalate-free, they're in a vegan world, they're completely cruelty-free, there's no artificial coloring to them. So understanding that the choices are of high performance, and I'm glad you brought it up before because we struggled 10 years ago. Yeah. Before clean was a cool thing. You know what we struggled with? 
people thought that if you were clean, you weren't as good. You didn't perform. Absolutely. <laughs> Exactly. And, and that's where you coined the market, honestly. You really did, because you knew that. Being a stylist and in a salon, you knew how important performance was. And the beauty industry kind of gets that vain um, edge of like, I don't really care what's in it. If it makes me look good, you know, we're doing it until it makes you feel bad. And so you can't look good and feel bad. And I think you really captured that of it has to perform, but it also has to make you feel good. So. I'm so glad we covered the clean aspects because that is one of the most important parts of surface is that it is completely clean. It was clean before clean was cool and it performs. It is a complete salon full service brand that actually has a color line also, which is also what makes you so unique, a clean color. So I know we're talking more to consumers today and our customers, but we do have surface color in the salon and we can talk about the, the color, but it kind of all has a lot of the same driving proteins and, and ingredients with your whole brand philosophy, correct? Excellent. Yeah, it sure does. In fact, the, the key with the color and being ammonia free as well, as well as what's called PPD, which is paraphenyldiamine, the number one allergenic carcinogenic concern, is the delivery system is supported with the basu oil again. Mm -hmm. And the actual color that it's a, doesn't just get trapped in the hair, it gets, gets bonded to the Driven hair. Driven in, yeah. Driven in and bonded with the amaranth uh, protein. So it's, it's all in one big happy family. Yeah, to have all those yummy ingredients, even in your chemicals, it's just amazing how that you've come up with these ingredients that perform the way they do. Can I ask, I'm, we'll jump into Basu here quickly, but I just want to know, how did you go about discovering these ingredients? Like, that's fascinating to me. Of all the plants in the world and stuff like that, was there a story behind how you actually found Basu? Well, when it really comes to um, research and hair care, the amount of money that's invested in it worldwide is a drop in the bucket when it is a compared to skin care, but ultimately foods. Oh. So we, we really resourced foods and what were alternate proteins for gluten? How could they work with, within um, hair care and skin care? What were drivers that could be used efficiently on skin care? And, you know, we weren't the first company to use Babasu oil, but we were the company to perfect it mm -hmm. and actually harness it as, as a driver. So it was researching outside the hair care, outside the skin care, and pulling all that information together. And that's where it began. And then we identified the tying into the other products where it's curls and where it's awakened as to how we could maximize them. Fascinating, and it really is everything. We're all one made up of the same thing. The inside, all the vitamins that need to go in us to make us grow and healthy need to go on our skin and also need to help our hair. So it all combines together. It just shows the brilliance of it. Let's jump in. We're going to start with, um, I'll have to say my probably favorite line. Just <laughs> I love the smell so much, but let's start with Basu. Um, tell us who is our perfect client and what is our perfect prescription here? Uh, bath, basu is moisture, um, really targeted for um, any dry hair at all, which can be your high lift blondes. Uh, we do have some special toning products for them as well, but anytime you're in a dry area, so uh, in the winter time in the Midwest, on the West Coast, uh, those dry areas, that's your real target for it. This has the highest percentage of the basu oil to it. Right. So ultimately your shampoo and your conditioner. And we just launched a new one and you see it with a cap there and I'll bring it to my forefront here. This is an aerosol leave-in. Um, this was like a world's first. And as I take this and I'll mist it on a towel here for us. There we go. You got it. Is the reason that's in an aerosol form is so that when you mist it into the hair after you've rinsed your conditioner before you do any detangling, what happens is, is it's such a fine mist, it wraps every single hair shaft and leaves no weight. Because ah. moisture can add weight, if not in basu, but people are used to that. So the detangling properties are phenomenal. For so it. anybody that knows Surface, this is brand new. You're getting kind of like a, a new peek on it. Um, is this a wet product? Apply it wet or apply it dry? Yes, a wet product. Um, and that's where the, we, we ask the world to think out of the box, read the instructions, you shampoo with basu shampoo, you know, you use the basu conditioner to it. And then as your leave in is where you use the aerosol. And I mean, there's no detangler in the world that's like this and it's totally weightless to it. 
Um, so Michelle you... is saying the Basu leave-in is my favorite all-time product ever. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, hey, um, Wayne, what's the what's the ingredient right here? What is the picture we're looking at? This cool bubble above at, the products. That is actually the Babasu nut, and that's the seed inside. We source it from the southern Amazon, and it's cold pressed. We're able to support um, a community where they source from there in fair trade to it. So that's the actual Babasu nut that you're you're looking at back there. Um, our one of our number one lead products you'll see on the left there, and as I know you guys know, it's one of your top one is the Basu oil, and that's the highest concentration. And I will do a shout out with this right now, um, with the necessity for such frequent um, hand washing, and with using sanitizers. The sanitizers they, they are necessary to take away any of the the bacteria, the viruses that could be touched and such, but they strip your natural acid mantle. They're very dry. So as soon as you would use a sanitizer, and every time after you're done washing your hands, I highly recommend using the Basu oil as a stream across your fingers, rub it in, and that antioxidants helps replenish your natural acid mantle, benefits of protection, and it provides hydration and antioxidants long term. Um, it's also a wonderful oil not only to use on your hair for shine, condition, for color locking, but to actually use that Basu oil on your skin, complete from head to toe, face and body. This is Surface Hero product for sure. Um, it's in, this is the pure ingredient that's in all of the products, the driver that he's talking about, the net and seed that you see up there. This is the product. Um, that is awesome that skin, use it on your skin and on your hair. Um, so it has the antioxidant properties. Um, any other type of uh, anti properties within it? Absolutely. It's a phenomenal, um, I'm going to call it an anti-allergen. Mm -hmm. So anybody that has, we have some of these properties already built into our color and our lightener, but if someone is doing color and you know that you have irritation on the scalp, by adding just a little bit of that oil into your color, about an eighth of an ounce, you'll really help the scalp. Anytime you have any irritation on the scalp, irritation on your skin, mosquito bite, bee sting, whatever it may be, a little bit of Basu oil is absolutely phenomenal to it. So you can mix um, in it right box. in your color, right? Correct, yeah. It just doesn't a couple lose drops. the color whatsoever. Just provides a nice driver support and antioxidant. Um, you know, the other thing is in taking right from taking your makeup off at night is the best product you'll ever use to take your makeup off. Wow. Uh, while toning and providing an antioxidant to the skin. And in the morning after you wash your face, please stream it onto your fingertips, apply it to your face. Phenomenal. Uh, the gold product that you see in the middle is Basu Gold. Um, yes. The difference wow. with that is it doesn't it is an argon. An argon doesn't have the same high level of antioxidant, but it adds a little bit more weight. So people with medium to coarser hair, they may want that. Uh, the gold that you see is not obviously because of surface and our commitment is not an artificial color. That's carrot seed, mm. and mm -hmm. carrot seed is one of the number one uh, moisturizers that they'll use in baby products. Wow. And we use it wow. at such a high level in there to provide the extra moisture along with a little bit more of a weight for that coarse hair. But it's actually a bronzing product if you use it on the skin as well. So it is argan oil, but does that one also have some of the basu oil in it? Yes, it does as a driver. In fact, you know, I, I ask consumers to be aware out there. I'm, I'm going to guess that, you know, if you're using, I won't name any brands, obviously, but take a look at the back ingredient base. And the majority of argan oil products are known as their oil-based products. Um, they actually contain a, a dye, a yellow-based dye, yeah. to give them their color because they have such a little argon in them. Right. Um, our concentrations are pure, so turn it around, take a look at it, and you will see that there's no colorant in there other than the carrot seed. So moisture, Basu is all about moisture. Our dried out blondes need it. Um, Basu oil can be used fine girls, every every hair type, blonde hair type. If you need something a little heavier, you try the gold oil that also has somewhat of a yellower touch with the carrot seed. So you probably wouldn't want to use that on blondes. If you're yellowing, use the Basu oil. But the other one is great if you still are having dried hair, um, but a darker, coarser hair. So we That's have fun. our moisture mist, our Basu oil, our gold oil, our shampoo conditioner. What about our tube and then our spray? What do we got going on there? So the important thing with the tube, that's the mask. And in the salon, after um, all high lift blonding services uh, that don't require toning, I mean, a phenomenal deep moisturizing treatment. And it's yes. also part of our maximum repair treatment. 
Um, so that gives you an ultimate in moisture deposit into the hair, again, with no weight. Um, that little clear bottle that you see to your right, um, that's a hydrating shine spray. Just a very fine mist over the hair to really add that glamour to it is, mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Absolutely. It gives a little bit of shine to sometimes if yeah. you go blonde, you, you, you get dull. So that yeah. puts the light back in it. Well, you know, one of the things when we identify those products, that shine spray is a product that a person may purchase once every six months. Yeah. You know, the, the other products are your products that you would be looking at about every two months is your normal uh, type of longevity for them. Absolutely. I'm a shampoo, condition, mask once a week, basu oil on, um, actually I do it wet and dry. So yeah. I'm a, I'm a put it in wet um, to, to give that smoother blow dry. And then also I put it in dry because I'm blonde. I am dull. Um, but I probably don't use the shine spray enough. So that's one I'm going to look at because probably my dry basu oil application should be the shine spray. Cause that's really what I'm using it for. So thanks. Yeah. Yeah. If you're using it, because one of the things with that mist, just a fine little puff that you can get a, a more of a better penetration. Um, the other thing is if your hair is dry and you're, you've are you got heavy a lot of it and you want to flat iron and collapse it, you can actually use that shine spray to flat iron with as well. Oh, nice. Nice. That, that would not be for you, but for that big, heavier, coarse hair, you can use it. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So that's Basu. Anybody have any um, questions or comments on Basu? Feel free to um, throw them at us and we can always go back to it. But we're going to keep moving forward with our Trinity Color Care. But Trinity, there's it is for color care, but it's also for strengthening. So how, and I love this beautiful plant, the active ingredient. Tell us about it, Wayne. Let's start with the plant. Uh, the plant itself is amaranth. And amaranth is what we truly use to replace any wheat base at all. And amaranth is known by the National Academy of Sciences as one of the most dynamic proteins available. In fact, if you go to your health food store, you'll find your whole amaranth grain sections in, in the food division. Amaranth is also known as the never fading flower mm -hmm. because it has a natural resistance to UV. So with, in the color care, not only are you rebuilding and strengthening the hair, but you're also providing the maximum in color retention. And actually just last year that we went to the new bottle, uh, packaged within the Trinity, and the reason is we added Moringa. And what Moringa is, is an antioxidant that helps fight any free radicals that may fade your color. So when you take a look at the hero colors there, there's that little white tube that's gonna pop up again. Um, and that's for that strength and rebuilding. One shot. one shot, that's it. Give it the one shot over the top. And even if you find someone that is in, say, your red, your colors that are in red families, and they do tend to fade a little quicker. The worst, yeah. The worst. Yeah. yeah, immediately after the color, to be able to put one shot blow dried into the hair is phenomenal. Um, when you take a look from the shampoo to the conditioner, on the right hand side of it, there's that little mist bottle that you've got there, which is our protein cream. Mm -hmm. uh, protein cream is also, as you guys would know in the salon, it's one of our, always in our top three in sales. Always. It, it's in a balance between moisture and a balance in between the amaranth protein. So for that person that wants the balance of strength and moisture, that's really a go-to product. Um, we brought the world's very first clear dry shampoo to the market. Mm -hmm. And what we did in this is I found that if a dry shampoo relied on starches to any degree they would make the scalp feel gritty and they would add a little that would add dullness to it and white so, and powdery you're right exactly so we went outside the box and we actually use a mineral that we derive from volcanic ash hmm. it's hydrolyzed within a, a an ocean water and lemon rind so it's completely clear as i'll take it and spray it on my shirt here that it's completely clear. That's good. No, and no white. Right. That's crazy. No white. Right. When when you mist it onto your scalp, it attaches to any excess oils. Um, it eliminates excess odor, and then you just lightly dust it away. The refreshingness is phenomenal. Um, people will use it as an antiperspirant because it's a healthy base for for an antiperspirant on it, and it also provides color protection. So as a dry shampoo, that's definitely your, your go-to product. Oh my gosh, Wayne, you've given us so many cool tips of how these products, and it makes so much sense because they're made with such yummy ingredients. They can be used for skin, deodorant, 
hand sanitizing, Anybody? moisturizing, anti, I mean, just wow, that's crazy. And if anybody needs to refresh in their shoes at a time or their sneakers, huh. this is this is actually the go-to product to refresh them as well. To absorb the odors and the, the oils in your shoes. That makes so much sense if it's going to work on your scalp. Why wouldn't it work on your shoe? You know, one and of the most beautiful things I love, though, is this um, amaranth flower. The color... The, the technology of color fading, you, if you've ever pressed flowers, which I love this, my kids, when they were little, they would pick flowers and I would press them in books and save them. Um, the, it doesn't fade. It stays vibrant. And so it's that same technology that holds the color in. There's so much great science here that is so applicable in so many different areas. I love that. Good awesome. stuff. Thank now, you very, we talk very about, much. Now, we talked about protein in... We always just have to say this because back in the day, protein was sometimes frowned upon for being brittle and stuff like that, but we've come so far in our protein technologies. So talk about your protein a little bit more and there's no brittleness to it, obviously, correct? Well, during the elimination of any uh, gluten or wheat bases and working with amaranth, we discovered a process in which we could create the protein to be flexible, which means it moved with the hair. And that's why we're even, there's a treatment that, that the salons can work with, or the guests, where they'll use the one shot on the ends, um, they'll blow dry it in, and then they take the tonic and they mist it and they flat iron, which actually bonds protein to the hair. Mm -hmm. So it thickens those ends, but the protein moves, it's flexible. So it doesn't over keratinize, and you can't over proteinize your hair with, uh, or ultimately dry it out with protein with surface. So say that process again because I've done this before and it really is a clean smoothing treatment. I mean of sorts it really is. So tell that again to salon owners who know and hairstylists that know surface products to be able to use these products in this way a chemical free smoothing treatment. Say that process again. So the, the chemicals free smoothing treatment one of the options you put your one shot on Fire one shot through in. Um, you can choose your styling product on top. You know, it may be the, the protein cream. If you've got real curly coarse hair, I'm going to jump across a little bit. You may jump into the curls family. But the first product that you put on was the, bossy. the one shot. And the bossy, yeah. And yeah, uh, the then one shot. the one shot, correct. And then after you're done your blow dry is to take the Trinity tonic, if you're looking to rebuild those ends and mist it on and then heat press. And you're actually welding the protein to the hair, but it's protein that moves. Uh, when I went to beauty school a long, long time ago, <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, they taught they talked about filling protein like the potholes in a road. Yes. But and then they talked about how if the road would shift, that those potholes would break away. Right. That is technology um, that has been greatly surpassed within our surface world. Right. So now when we fill those potholes, if the road shifts our protein moves with it. So Very it's flexible. Helpful. And to help understand, because I know there's viewers out there right now that, that are going, oh, gee whiz, my hair only grows to my shoulders, it doesn't get any longer. Um, they're probably of many times of a Scandinavian type heritage. Um, they may have a very tight, kinky base curl of a hair. Allie, too. oops. And they, they, have a, <laughs> they, have a, um, they may only have a cuticle layer of three. Whereas if you take a look at this gorgeous, beautiful Latino hair that's down to your waist, they have up to 11 cuticle layers. Oh. So if, if your cuticle layers is 9 to 11, it resists any friction on the shoulder and it grows long. If you have, do through your DNA, only say 3 to a 5 in cuticle layers, as soon as the hair gets to the shoulder, it wears away. And that's why it can be healthy, but you look on the ends and they look very fine. So what we're talking about in the treatment there is rebuilding those ends with the one shot, taking the trinity, pressing it on, so it builds a false protein around the hair. So what happens is that hair wears away, uh, doesn't wear away at the shoulder, it can re resist that friction. And once you pass that shoulder base, then you'll be able to grow your hair as long as your antigen cycle. That gets a bit geeky and that'll take us into our next product. But as long as your living cycle of growth is there, you can continue growing your length as long as you preserve the ends. I love this. This is such great information. So now we're talking about the, the smoothing treatment to grow your ends. We're going to jump into the scalp, but just real quick, let's just pull Trinity back up really quick and 
do an overall, who's your best person that we're gonna prescribe this to? We're gonna do it our, our color treatment people, our fragile hair people. Uh, if I'm gonna go right to this, if I'm gonna pick out just one, it's someone who's having a color service in the salon that has a challenge with fadage because it just keeps your color lasting longer. That's your number one. Perfect. Uh, number two is somebody that wants more strength in through their hair. The fragile. Fine and yep. fragile that breaks won't grow long, but primarily right. color faded. This is yep. your, your answer, your key. Yeah, if you're getting a brunette tone, if you're getting a red tone for sure, that's your go-to product. Save that deposit and protect your salon investment. <laughs> that's it. Absolutely. Well, great. Let's move forward to the Awaken. We just had an amazing Awaken uh, product knowledge class in our salon by one of your educators, Maya. Hi, Maya. We love you uh, here at Beauty Care Choices. Um, so I actually got kind of a refresher somewhat recently, but um, definitely let's let's talk about the active ingredients in Awaken. Now, this isn't is it a hair loss product? Is it a hair loss prevention product? How do we how do we prescribe Awaken? Awaken is prescribed best as a healthy scalp product because a healthy scalp has the opportunity to produce a healthy hair. Mm -hmm. So that's where you, you'll target that. And, you know, if anybody has a scalp challenge, we've proven ourselves over the last 10 plus years that we now truly lead this category completely drug free. Yeah. Um, we do not use minoxinil. Um, minoxinil is an ingredient that is proven to deactivate DHT and DHT is the hormone that causes the blockage in the follicle and ultimately the hair loss. We deactivate the DHT dihydrotestosterone is what it is by the way. That hormone through the use of a combination of botanicals led by saw palmetto. So in, in giving a, a very quick explanation of hair growth and how you can help it is as one's DNA controls, all of our bodies have a level of testosterone. Mm -hmm. We also have an enzyme called reductase 5. That enzyme can be triggered through stress, it can be uh, through maturity, um, it can be through many different hormonal shifts. It's triggered and the enzyme changes testosterone into dihydrotestosterone, which is thought to contract or miniaturize the hair follicle and as you see my hands going together there all of a sudden the hair the hair follicle can't uh, the hair shaft can't grow through that follicle anymore and ultimately you can have lost now hair grows in three cycles get ready here comes a little geek again antigen is <laughs> antigen is the active growth cycle so um, your dna will determine whether you have a three-year cycle or up to a six-year cycle. So think about this. On average of, say, nine inches a year, if I have a three-year cycle, probably again in the Scandinavian heritage, is I'm going to grow one year, two years, three years, and my hair is only going to be mid-back, and then this hair is going to shed and be replaced by another one if I have a healthy scalp. So that's how long it's going to get. That's it. But now if I have a six year cycle, I can get another three years of growth because I've got that antigen stage. It'll go right to my waist. Huh. And all but, of this is controlled through your DNA prior to yeah. no out of your control it has nothing to do with how you eat, what you do. This is your well, DNA. Somewhat, somewhat. Okay. It's primarily your DNA, but you need the vital nutrients to go to the papilla to be able to produce that, keep that growth cycle longer. Um, here's one of the facts is um, in November, December, hair loss will increase by up to 30% in North America the, and right through January. And the reason is that that's in your fall season, your winter season, and we shed more, we're animals. Mm -hmm. So to be able to realize that you can actually avoid some of that and have a more balanced hair cycle by using Awaken because to your point, Awaken has proven the ability to be able to extend the antigen cycle. A healthy scalp, creating a healthy hair growing longer, stronger, and faster. So if you're taking care of the ends, if you're feeding the scalp appropriately, you can have a longer hair life and ultimately longer hair. So when you look at Awaken, I really like people to think two ways. I like you to think Awaken in hair care. So you've got your shampoo, your conditioner, 
your mask for your scalp facial, okay? And that is looking at taking care of the scalp. The most important product we launched three years ago now is the Elixir. And the Elixir is, you use it actually before you shampoo to prepare the scalp. And you use it before, here comes the golden bullet, you use it before the treatment. And what this does is it helps stimulate the blood flow. It's a tremendous tingle at your scalp, but it's a combination of cayenne pepper derivative for heat as, as well as working with your mint oils for that cool base. It's the yin and yang. So your blood flow increases, vital nutrients are taken there, including biotin D, to help encourage the hair growth. Um, then the other part of our family in Awaken comes into styling. Um, I, I, I check out how our beauty care choices salon is doing there. But we sold out within five weeks of the new thickening spray. Yes. Because yes. The, th the thickening spray itself is a part of our styling regime in Awaken. Here's a mistake. You've got thin hair out there. Get the pen and the paper. Ask any questions if you want to it. But note this. The biggest mistake people with fine hair make is they think they need more volume. Bad choice. Because if you've got real volume, if you've got real fine hair and you create volume, you can actually see right through the hair. Yeah, you, need you to can. Put your hair first. Yeah. So the first thing we do is we work with our mousse, we work with that new thickening spray on the ends of thickening cream, and then another hero product, the hairspray. So what happens is it wraps a botanical fiber around the hair, visibly increasing the diameter, and then you get volume to it. And as a heads up out there, you know, when we're all done here and you're hanging with us for the day, check out Instagram, hashtag Surface Awaken. Um, those pictures there are by consumers, by guests in salons, they're pictures by stylists that just show an amazing, not only growth and fullness of hair, but what happens when you're using the Awaken thickening products? It's style. an instant change, and I've, I've witnessed it for myself. Maya did a demo in the class with the um, the thickening spray. But literally, you can hold up a section of hair and spray it on there. And where it looks kind of transparent, you can kind of see through it, it literally fills in, um, in front of your eyes. So you can actually see the actual shafts thickening up. So we talk about Awaken with scalp health. Um, let's go through... Um, Tammy is loving this. Thanks for joining us, Tammy. We are going to explain to uh, your daughter, Jessica, that she needs this and why. Some people think that, you know, hair loss and stuff like that can be part of an aging process or anything, but you can go through stress times, hormonal times, anything in that your body is going to excrete these hormones um, can be many different reasons. It can be medications. It can be so many different reasons why you might need this scalp health um, to do this. But the type of scalp health we're talking about, we can be dandruff, alopecia, it can be chemotherapy treatments, it can be, what else are we missing? Um, anything to do with the scalp, but how about if we do this? What about a cold sore? Now oh my I'm gonna gosh, you're going to throw us that. Wow. I'm going to throw you a little curveball. I again. love it. Because one of the most natural effective ways is uh, a lysine, and the lysine is an amino acid that you would either take the recommended lysine tablets. My lysine. grandmother recommended that when I had shingles. I actually got shingles after having a, a baby in lysine, so that's interesting. Great right. grandma knew. So, exactly. So with the Awaken, what we have in here is a very high level of lysine to help the scalp. But now let's think hmm. about the information we've shared so far. As soon as I would start to get a cold sore, the first thing I do is I take my Awaken drops, I put them on my finger. I go ahead and I put it on the top, or a blemish, if I'm getting a blemish, I put it on top, and then I immediately follow with the basu oil. Now I'm going to test you, Jennifer. Why do I put the basu oil on top of the awakened drop? Why do you think? To drive it in, right? You got it. Yeah, you, you have to have it, pen the basu oil is for penetration, 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 right? Right. So what happens with the lysine, say, for example, on that cold sore with it or on that blemish is if you can get it there before it actually comes to the surface, we see about 50% of the time that cold sore or the blemish doesn't surface. It can actually heal underneath. If it does surface and you continue applying that three times a day, the results are phenomenal in how fast it heals. So, so that's, again, he also said a blemish, which that's a zit, girls. <laughs> if you have a zit coming up right before your prom, we got a lot of girls that watch. Definitely take Wayne's tip. Let's stop it from popping out, right? <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. So Awaken is scalp health. 
all different types. Go check out Instagram and the Surface Health, uh, Hair Health. Um, the pictures are phenomenal. We've seen chemo patients on there. We've seen all types of before and afters, and you definitely have to see it to believe it. Um, scalp health is for everyone. So if you are experiencing it, it can be many different reasons, but it's super great solution to just fix the problem and not stress about it. Stressing about hair loss creates more hair loss. So definitely let's try and uh, create a solution. And we have, I don't know if you can see, I guess, I don't know if they're on the camera, but yes, there is a kit also that uh, contains the shampoo, the conditioner and uh, the scalp elixir and the Awaken treatment. It's a four piece kit that's super popular at Beauty Care Choices. You can buy them all together. And uh, Wayne puts this kit together as kind of a, a trial, giving you a little bit of a, a discount to give it a shot. So definitely look into that four piece system if you have any questions. Uh, the girls at Beauty Care Choices are all educated and trained on this. So feel free to give us a call or ask it now why we have Wayne with us. Thank you, thank you Tammy for the question. Uh, Loving this. Okay, we're gonna, anything else we wanna talk about Awaken before we, we move on? We're already- Go on, mine. Yeah, thank you. Oh, go ahead if any questions at all. Okay, no, um, nothing really um, right now coming in. I'm just gonna actually keep us moving forward because we're already kind of getting a little bit long here. So let's move on to the curls. Um, I know we have a new curls frizz-free spray gel that's kind of been fun. Um, tell us about, and honestly these are amazing curl products so i don't want to underplay or cut this segment short because this is a huge issue curly girls need product and curly girls also need a healthy scalp okay and and i want to bring that to the forefront right away because cleansing of curly hair i believe has had misguidance over the past couple decades Mm -hmm. so you need to you need to have a, a healthy scalp producing beautiful healthy curly hair while at the same time maintaining the condition and moisture, not stripping that away. Right. So um, in a nutshell, there's two categories the same as Awaken. You have caring for curly hair, whether you're going to embrace your curl and define it, or whether you're going to take it and take it smooth. Um, when you have curly hair, watch my hands in the screen right now. There we go. A hair, a hair that's straight, as you see my hands move down from side to side, the bonds that hold that hair together are horizontal. There's very little stress. On a curly hair, the hair that curls in the belly, in the kink of the curl, that structural bond is stretched. So where it's stretched, it causes frizz, the cuticle lifts. So the mistake people have made in the past is using products that cover the cuticle and they dry the hair out. Um, when people smell our curls, they're like, ah, smells amazing. Well, what they're smelling is a certified organic cocoa butter. Cocoa uh, butter is rich in vitamin K. And what the vitamin K does is it strengthens that internal bond in the hair so that it, it pulls that frizz back in from the inside out is the difference. So yeah, some yeah. hold me on a second. Somebody's going to call you directly for a question. <laughs> That's it. Only, so, only if you're watching the show, he's answering. <laughs> so what we're, yeah, what we're doing is we're strengthening that from the inside with that to reduce the frizz from the outside, so it prevents color loss to it. Persistent. So I'll just keep, I'm just keep this. I keep doing that until I get through. So it prevent, prevents that color loss uh, to it. So in the hair, the scalp is cleansed sufficiently, but the hair is left moisturized. So that's the key. Um, is it true that curly hair is naturally more dry? Or is it just that it looks more dry because of that curve and the cuticle kind of fraying out that gives it that frizzy look? The straight hair reflects light beautifully. Right. Okay? Uh, a mirror reflects light. What happens to a mirror reflecting light if it has a crack in it? Mm. It doesn't reflect it as well. So is it naturally dry? Um, the answer would be yes, because frizz allows moisture to escape. But if you reduce the frizz, the moisture isn't escaping. So let's let's look at not what the end problem is, what's causing the problem. Interesting. So 
that, so that's that's the key is to identify. So if I'm wearing that hair curly and defined, um, the other key with our styling products is glycoproteins, which are sugar proteins, same type of proteins that are used within helping uh, burn patients and being able to have that cuticle laid down and compressed to the cortex without the use of any plastics at all. So if I'm going to smooth my curls, I'll use our smoothing cream, but it's the same care regime in curls, shampoo, conditioner, and ultimately if I'm blow drying smooth, I'll still use frizz free. But it's a fine mist, predominantly the sugar gels. Um, if I'm going curly, I'll use the firm mousse, but I tell you what, one of the golden products you use it once and you're hooked for life is the curls hairspray. And the reason is, and I'm married to a curly girl for 40, going on 42 years That's now. That's how you know. That's how I know, because I tell you what, how many years of my life, as soon as Deborah would do her hair, was like, don't touch it. Because as soon as you touch curly hair, especially if you use any hairspray, what happens now frizz. is a cuticle attaches to another cuticle, and you touch that, and it breaks apart, and you've got frizz to it, okay? So the important thing with using the curl spray is zero, zero plastics and working with flexible sugars. So you can have volume, but you can also use it to flat iron curly hair. Wow. So, and it's a one pass. I mean, you missed it once, hit it with the iron, beautiful, smooth, and it really lasts. So again, nice. it's caring for curls as well as defining them and smoothing them. But uh, so right now it's super popular to go wear your curls natural. And right. um, we know some other brands are having some trouble right now with their products. So. Girls are looking for what is the best product in surface curls for girls that just want to shampoo, condition, kind of pick it out and go natural. Uh, the cream wax is phenomenal. It's taking a little bit of the cream wax, put it in your hand, working it through, separate it through the curls, and to control them is absolutely gorgeous with it. Um, if you want to enhance your curl a little bit more, you can work with the mousse. Those are two that it jumps at me right away. And the other one is in between days. And this is important, not stressed enough to people, is in between days to keep them hydrated, to keep that bond nice uh, and natural to find without frizz is the serum. The serum is phenomenal to it. So all those girls that just want to embrace them naturally, we have the answer for them in the yeah. curls cream as well as the serum. Yes, the curl serum is the the final finish that just keeps that natural, luscious, yep. not frizzy curl. Um, yep. Awesome. So uh, curls, loving surface curls. Um, the rose and violet, we're just going to bring these up really quick. We've talked a few times about violet and toning on the show, um, but I don't know of another violet hairspray. So... Um, I did want to show, these are super duper pigmented. Allie got me a product to be able to show what the product looks like. Look at how beautiful that is. And then we also have the violet. Here, Tob wants me to show it over here. Kind of gives it a better look of, I'm just untalented here. But look at how rich that is. It's so, it's almost a blue violet. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we have the char too, which the char is, um, Definitely our, our new detox friend favorite, um, and men are loving char. So we're going to kind of wrap up with um, quickly talking um, a little bit about these segments. We obviously need to have you back because there's so much more to talk about. And your, trips, your tips and tricks of other uses for your products are fascinating. I love it. So let's talk about the toning products um, right now for rose and violet. Um, keep it real simple with it. The rose and violet. Um, if you're blonde and you want that real cool uh, rose, night thing, like a cool, not a cool tone, but that real hip, cool feel to it. You, know, you shampoo, you leave it on for 30 seconds, you rinse it, the conditioner is on and on off like that, and you have a soft rose tone. Now, if you want Great, it more rose, rose you just leave it a little longer. And what you see on that picture there is rose hip. You know, that's where we drive that from. Um, there's no doubt in the world that we lead the world with the violet category. Um, this comes from the Mackey Berry um, that we, sell, we source from Patagonia. The concentration is phenomenal with it. You can use it right after blonding to brighten. And those dark purple products that you see there, they have a concentration to deposit. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. the world just got a new one though. The world's new one they got is the new violet and it's in the lighter mode because these do not deposit violet they simply have enough mackie berry to be able to brighten okay so you have 
mask and you also have the blow dry cream. So if you want to brighten but not deposit violet, these are your go-to products. Um, also in the salon, there's a new treatment that we're recommending, which is using the mask itself. And it is, instead of having, when you do a lot of high lip blonding and you'll find the cuticle overlays itself. So don't try and comb that out. You shampoo off with the Basu shampoo. You take the new violet mask, you squeeze it in. And then over the top, you stream Basu oil. Put a cap on, go under the dryer for 10 minutes, rinse that off, and watch the tangles melt away, and the brightness of the blonde is phenomenal. And save your breakage. That's right. Healthy, beautiful, blonde, shiny, bright hair. That's it. I love the blonde styling products. I mean, that really does kind of give you guys such a cool edge and um, the blow dry and as well, the toning spray. So sometimes you just have a little extra gold in your hair, whatever it is. It can be a certain day or um, maybe the water, you absorbed more, more copper that day in our water or something like that. But you just finish your hair and you're like, oh, I'm looking kind of yellowy. And you do that quick little spray, a finishing spray of their violet spray. And it just reflects the light to just give you a little bit more of a beige look. Awesome. That, love I your love blonde. it. So I, I do want to move on to, um, we do have the, a quick um, view of or slide of the styling products. Your styling products are super amazing. Um, Gosh, I can't even pick out my favorite. What are your hero products? Well, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the hero, the hero products. Um, number one, there is the new t uh, the, the taffy. When I'm looking at short hair, and you can see the fibers there, the fibers. So fun. With that, and it's just a real fiber product, but there's no nylons there. That's all shiitake mushroom. So mm. that's a hero product for me. Another hero styler for me that a lot of people aren't aware of is this is the taffy spray wax. And the taffy spray wax, you'll see that it comes out, oh, that in front of my camera here. There you come go. Off. Oh, yeah. Is it white? Uh -huh. But what it does, and this is a Japanese uh, tree that provides us, and it disappears. So cool. With it it oh provides gosh. us with just a really nice shine into hair. Come on, then the camera get used to that. Uh huh. So, say for example, Jen, on your hair again, a can like this would last you six months. Wow. So, just that day that you want to glamorize that curl, you put a fine mist on, you squeeze it in, and away you go. Um, our number one styling product is, without a doubt, my little, come on, my happy face there. <laughs> That's it. Yay, happy face. That's the jump mousse. And the jump mousse really tells a story of in styling in general is you have sugars and you have vegan starches that don't like each other, so they push apart. So to create volume, you have that push apart base, but yet firmness. So jump is, and also our, our powders. I mean, our powders are completely talc-free for the volume that you have. And you know, I really invite people, especially when it comes to styling, you know, go onto our website to take a look at the different ranges. And in styling, I like you to think of three things. What's my wet styler going to be? What's my dry detailer going to be? And what's my hold going to be? And, you know, when it comes into the hold products at Surface, for example, Theory, is think about sugars. If you've ever seen people make cotton candy, and the cotton candy is just those sugar fibers. So instead of having plastics, you've got the sugar fibers that hold your hair. So, you know, in, in a nutshell, that was the hardest to talk about in a short period of time, giving people just a snapshot because, you know, if I'm going to blow dry for glamour, I'm going to use our Reflect gel, which is a water-based gel. Right. I'm going to blow dry for texture. I'll work with the texture paste. If, um, I'm believing as specific as you can for uses with products to do it for your guests. And you know, that's what we've done with our, our products. And they're all free of the, I say the Petrocam plastics that all work with vegan starchy sugars and mushroom fibers. Brilliant. And one big point I want to bring to our consumers and our stylists watching is this is an award-winning hairdresser that has created these products. So he has been behind the chair. He has been in your shoes. He has 
came across the same problems and the same heads of hair that sit in your chair and has found solutions for these. So as you look into the Surface products, if you're new to Surface or if you've been using them, you probably already know you love them. Um, but if you are new to Surface, definitely know that these are clean products created by an award-winning hairdresser. This isn't even his first line of products. I know he's gotten a long history of this science that is built upon and built upon. So Surface is his brainchild that he is leaving for his um, daughter and granddaughter possibly to pass along for future generations. We're so uh, lucky to have your knowledge and to have had your dedication in our industry. Um, the final brand we're going to talk about just really quick because I'm just not going to leave it out even though I know we're running long. Thank you all for tuning in. Everyone loves Surface so much so I know they'll stick around to hear you. Um, but the char, the detox char, I know there's a story behind this and I, I know the skin products, um, the um, e um, eczema and other stories that have come with the skin relief cream. Um, I had a, um, my cousin actually, uh, someone gave her a facial and it was a gift and she went in and they used some chemicals on her skin that she wasn't used to and it created this issue and she just looked raw and painful and the first thing i could think of is skin relief cream give her some skin relief cream and it did it actually did help it was one of the only things that didn't burn so um definitely give us a rundown on char because i definitely want to hear from you the um and i'll really uh, um, encourage people go that are interested as you are right now and i love your followers because they are so interested is there's some tremendous video education that's online and it's uh, vimeo is the host of vimeo.com backslash surface hair. Um, char itself works to adsorption with a D versus adsorption. See, traditional surfactants create like a bubble that cleans away what shouldn't be there. In adsorption, you have the additional fibers of activated charcoal that create like a network over the skin with our daily, uh, the face, body, and hand cleanser, which now is more important than ever with it. And then the same in the shampoo. And those fibers, they interlock on the hair. So when the water hits it, it takes it away like a blanket to detoxify. If you've ever had a charcoal-based facial, though, you'll find that the skin becomes very dry underneath it. Mm -hmm. So that's where we've been able to work with Moringa and Babassu oil is another ingredient be able to hydrate underneath to be able to condition immediately. Um, when it comes to the skin relief cream that, that has helped so many people from babies with chapped faces to every hairdresser in the world, every dishwasher in the world, anybody with the hands in the water with dry hands, is it continually exfoliates the hands and also spares cellular generation. So the faster your cells are turning over, the healthier that that skin is. So in the skincare, you've got the daily cleanser, you've actually have a shave cream, men's and women's, mm -hmm. and you've got the skin relief, which everybody needs. In the hair care, you've got shampoo and conditioner. The styling products are, which give you the, again, the adsorption of the charcoal, but added of seaweed fiber. And there's a seaweed fiber that stays in behind to give you volume. So if you're looking for big hair with it, that's your char world you're going to. Um, the styling products, within char, they maximize the fibers of those seaweeds. Um, the mousse is ex extremely unique because it comes out as a foam and then turns into a gel as soon as you rub it in your hands. Mm -hmm. We always get people going, and I turned into a gel right away, is that no? Yes, it is. Because the foam makes it lightweight, but then that fiber really wraps the hair for the volume and the texture. And the same with the hairspray. The hairspray is a big hair hairspray with the texture to it. Yeah, they all smell good and um, definitely the most unique factor is um, moisturizing charcoal line, which is not yeah. normally what you experience. As some people think charcoal, well, okay, that makes sense for texture, but then I'm going to be dried out. And no, you're not going to be dried out because it still has the Hero product, the Basu oil. So um, definitely the charcoal has been popular. Um, with men um, because of the shave products and stuff like that also um, but big hair come on we got some That's texture it. coming back right you know so definitely I love I just can't tell you enough about the the charcoal texturizing products is being something that you should really try because I think it's been really fun in creative styling behind the chair 
because it gives you, they're kind of a different, if you think about it, a lot of times it's a, it's a, something that comes out as a gel and turns into a foam. You've went the other way. So there's so many different creative ways to use these products behind the chair. And you being an award-winning stylist, you obviously knew that in creating them. So uh, Wayne, we thank you so much. What else should we cover here? Um, I know that um, you guys won the Reader's Choice Award for 2019. Um, we love all of your giving back. Um, if you, on Arbor Day, we do a promotion. Wayne de, uh, donates a huge portion of Basu sales back to the trees in Arbor Day. They support 10% of all your profits go to World Vision, which is just amazing. Um, and then the Saskatchewan Cancer uh, Foundation. Anything you want to tell us about that? Um, quite simply, our dedication is to leave the earth a better place than, than we find it is. Uh, we jokingly share that don't take life too serious. You're not going to come out of it alive anyway. None of us and are. And at the time, when the day does come, is, is the world a better place for you living here? Absolutely. You know, I can truly say that we're dedicated to uh, leaving the earth a better place than we found it. And it's people, obviously. Wonderful. That is a beautiful, beautiful sentiment to um, uh, end on. Um, you started this brand uh, to leave the world a better place for your family, and we get the residuals of that um, to leave the better place, for, the world a better place for all of us. Um, clean products that actually work in the salon and have um, healthy qualities for benefits in many different uses. Wayne has shown us today. Um, very grateful for your knowledge, Wayne. Thank you for being on our show. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for your stylists who give us continued support. And thank you for all of the viewers out there that have taken the time to learn a little more about beauty care choices and surface. Uh, thank you, Wayne. Thank you for being here. We love surface hair and thank you for all of your support. Um, it is a salon favorite. If you guys have any questions, further questions for Wayne, please feel free to put them in the comments. We will be checking back on the video later. Wayne, have a great day. And we will definitely be reaching out if ever we get lucky enough to get your time again on the show. We'll definitely uh, take advantage of that again. Thank you for your time. I'm so glad we got you today. My pleasure. So anyone have any more questions on Surface? Let us know below. Be sure if you want to hear any more about Beauty Care Choices products and brands that we carry. You Have Beauty Care Choices was created for those consumers and stylists that just want a little bit more information. These type of meetings help me decide what brands to carry. And uh, so since I've decided to carry the brand, I thought you'd want to know why I chose to carry it. And obviously listening to Wayne Grund of Surface Hair, creator, founder of this brand, you now know why Beauty Care Choices love Surface. We appreciate all of our customer service people tuning in and knowing about the products. Be sure and reach out to them if you have any further questions. Our licensed stylist team is waiting on our 800 number, 800-409-7227, sorry, 866-409-7227, just checking if you're reading. Uh, everyone in the room went, no! <laughs> everyone have a great day, stay clean, wash your hands, and bye for now.